so I'm just priming the pump, adding a little bit of oil to it. It's gonna sit for a minute, but you know, I just wanna until we actually get the engine inside the inside the car. Well, we could have that. We could have that done a lot sooner, but we're just waiting on the transmission. So I'm just lubing this pump up, like priming, in other words, and uh, we're gonna install it through the timing chain and uh, install the sprockets, TDC the engine, and go from there. Stay tuned. guys update so we got the cams in timing is done uh, crank sprocket is on or crank pulley is on um, the side cover is back on we got the new oil pump and oil pan on put the valve cover back on we got the turbo manifold on we got the water pump on it's gonna be coming off to get a new gasket on it uh, but it's on for now. We got the high pressure fuel pump on and uh, JR is off running to go grab a cutting wheel so that we can do a little bit of uh, modification to the intake manifold to, eh, to have it fit on the MPI kit for radium which is also partially, partly on. And we also got the fuel injectors in, fuel rail back on. So yeah, so she's coming together. Um, I mean, honestly, tonight we, we should have everything on all the accessories. We'll go ahead and throw the turbo on once the accessories are on and maybe put throw the clutch on, because why not? Um, and then we will literally just be waiting for Jax to send the transmission over so we can pop it in the car and get a tune on it and then take it to a dyno to have Adam uh, remote tuner for us. So, yeah, amazing.
it's now 10 p.m. Uh, all the bugs are out, uh, and I mean, I am at a point where I can't really continue from uh, until we get the, just, I mean, one piece that we're waiting for from Ford, which we're going to go pick up tomorrow and put on, and um, until we get the transmission. So we got all the accessories on, got the off air, AC compressor, cancer, or the fuck, um, the belts on, got more of the coolant line or coolant hoses on. We have both rails, all injectors, intake manifold, uh, oil filter location. Meh. Turbo manifold, turbo hanging, and tomorrow we will be getting the um, the uh, the rear crank cover piece that we're waiting on. Uh, we'll throw that on, and then we'll have to take the motor off the stand to do that. We're gonna do that, put it back on the stand, and then probably go ahead and start getting all the uh, coolant and oil lines done. Uh, for the turbo and just uh, whatever else needs to be done for the rest of the car too. So we are almost there. So we're just needing the transmission so we can throw it in the car and get the rest of the cash cans and the fuel and everything done. But yeah, so uh, probably won't be many more videos of the Focus until we get the transmission. Okay. 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 So I have uh, gone ahead and done a little bit more to the car. I've routed as much of the wiring harness as I can uh, right now until we get the uh, the port injection harness uh, mocked up and done. So it looks like a mess on top. It looks like a mess over here because of all of the uh, wastegate lines to the boost controller. Um, and yeah, but I've done that. Uh, we hung a turbo last night. I uh, gapped, I went and got the one step colder plugs, uh, gapped them to like Tune Plus's spec, and then put the eh, put the cold packs back on so I could clip in the harness up there. Uh, and now I'm working on the turbo side of things while I wait for JR to come and do the harness for the port injectors. So uh, I've already done this oil line. I need to do a little bit of cutting for the return. Um, just because it, how the kit comes, it comes too close to this little spout to uh, mate to the turbo and the um, the flange to mate to the turbo is also the the drill dot holes for these studs are a little bit too snug to get it on so I'm going to just very minimally uh, bore those out just like a hair to make it easier to slip them over the studs and then I'm going to cut the actual flange down a little bit um, to make it easier just to fit to the turbo. Uh, I did not get a couple of lines that were necessary for the uh, coolant. Um, so I'm going to have to either wait uh, to get those in or just go and get our own fittings and lines from somewhere and make our own. Um, so I'm gonna get an ETA on how long it's gonna be to just get them in 
and if it's going to be too long, then we'll go and just get them, make them ourselves. Um, but so I'm pretty much stuck with all of that. Um, so the only other thing I can do is the waste gates. So this kit does a twin waste gate setup, and it comes with these tile MVSs. Um, I went. I already like dismantled them. Took the just took the caps off. Um, they V band to the exhaust or to the turbo manifold there. Um, these pretty much control your boost levels. So once you reach peak boost or whatever you're tuned for, if you have a if you have a controller like electronic boost controller, you can set whatever boost level you want. If you don't, um, then you go base off of spring and just uh, wastegate. So uh, depending on depending on the springs you put in, it will open the wastegate at a certain PSI uh, and keep your basically keep your keep your boost at that point that you're supposed to be. So you, if you're if you know that you can only run like 25 pounds, um, this will open up so that it stays at 25 whenever you're like watt and you don't go to like 50 and blow your shit. So, uh, I am hoping I'm doing this correctly. Normally they like, you get a few different springs, uh, like five or six of them, I believe, uh, with the waste skates. And these ones only came with these three each, uh, which I, I believe is uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and 0.4. I want to say it's, I believe that's right. Um, so pretty much, uh, those are that's bar. Um, so for for PSI, it's just over 20 or 21 pounds of boost. Um, because it only came with these three, I am, and, and I'm also waiting back to hear from Adam right now, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and guess that these are all supposed, to, like all meant to go in there. So um, each one's set for roughly 20 pounds. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in. It's kind of a pain in the butt, uh, especially when you have like the higher spring rates, I guess, if you want to call it that, uh, just because you have to set them in, put the cap on, and then push it down, as well as tightening it up. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm going to get on that and hopefully not smack myself in the face or anything with the cap to the wastegate, and then we'll go ahead and throw them on. Um, you also have to plug or put flanges to these little ports. Um, and then there's more on the cap as well. So, yeah, so I'm going to be uh, figuring out what needs to be done for those and putting those guys on uh, once I've installed the springs. So while we still await the transmission that I have no idea when it's getting here, uh, we were missing one final component that we needed that I didn't know that we needed until we got to um, doing the lines for the weight skates. Uh, we needed this little dude, which is a boost reference adapter, or a bra, and um, yeah, so that, that came in. 
Uh, I purchased it from my good friend Andrew from Built Not Bought. Plug. Um, uh, if you guys need any parts for practically anything, he can get it for reasonable price comparatively to other like uh, sites and stuff that you can get through. Um, and he's also the dude that does a lot of the uh, communicating for uh, Mike Atkins from Intune. So if you have a Subaru that needs to get tuned as well, you can also hit him up. Um, anyways, I got that. It came in. We went ahead and installed as much as we can install right now. I'm not going to do like the actual line to the blow off valve or anything from it uh, because the blow off valve doesn't go on until the car is or the motor is back in the car. Um, so yeah, pretty much uh, that's uh, that's what this does whenever you're going from recirculating to atmospheric uh, instead of a bypass valve going to a blow off valve. Um, you need this boy for this setup uh, in particular. Um, you need that to deal with that as far as uh, new like vacuum reference and all that goes. So I don't know exactly how it works. I just know I needed it and, and I figured out how to put it on. So I just, I, I did that. Um, so yeah, now we are at the point of we just need the transmission to get here so we can finish putting everything together, put it in the car, get her tuned, and she will be done. Um, but in the meantime, the next video should be pretty cool. Uh, we have some stuff going on, uh, Kibby and I, and it's gonna be a fun time. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll be maybe the most enjoyable video we've done so far. So look out for that, but also watch this. Uh, do the whole like, comment, subscribe thing. Apparently it helps videos out, whatever. You can share it too, that'd be sick. And yeah, just look out for more.